you know, I was struggling so much with breathing out of my nose and ended up finally in November getting uh, surgery for my deviated septum. And uh, I didn't realize how much I was putting my body through stress because you know, I've gone through you know, almost a decade now of intense, continual practice of managing my anxiety, managing fear, learning how to use breath work and meditation and uh, resetting the mindset so that we're in a positive state and and moving through fear. All these techniques that, that we've been using that work fantastic. Um, and then in the last year, it's like my body just couldn't take it anymore from not being able to breathe. And I felt so stressed out. And I wasn't, like, I wasn't stressed, but my body felt stressed here, to exactly your point. Mm -hmm. And I think that's an area that we're not really, like, we as a, as a society is not putting a lot of emphasis on. And I know, because I was there. I didn't put enough emphasis on it. Just figuring, oh, you know, I, I know these tools. I can get through it. Like, sure. But, you know, I am i can't if I'm in my own way. Yeah. Right? Which is what fear in and of itself is. It's us kind of in many ways getting in our own way, right? Yeah. And so when I finally, you know, one of the fears was about getting the surgery. It wasn't, it was an irrational one, but it was still a fear. And it was just like, I just I didn't want something to happen. And so finally, thanks to you, my love and my support, and you took a really good care of me and I'm very grateful. Um, but once I got that taken care of and I'm able to breathe now. I mean, my body is all relaxing. And these last couple of weeks, um, I started really massaging, like you're saying, because I spent years clenching at night, you know, because I was, I would wake up and my, I was like clenching my fists and my jaw and, and like this. And, and anyone who, who knows me knows I'm not a, like, I'm not angry person. So then why was I like this, you know, as if I'm ready to fight and I'm sleeping? Which is the exact opposite time of when I'm, you know, if we're ever going to fight, it's not going to be when we're <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> Fighting the wind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so something was clearly off and that was my body actually telling me where I was and what needed to shift in order for me to get back to find my harmony, my personal balance, right? Yeah. And so I, I've been massaging my my different parts of my my head. I didn't realize how much of my muscles from here like the top of my head all the way down to my shoulders were taking over for the rest of my body and so just by doing that for the long, every day for the last two and a half two and a half weeks now um i've seen a massive difference in my cogn cognitive abilities <laughs> which didn't show it when i just stumbled <laughs> over the word <laughs> um, my recall <laughs> um just my uh, even my my um my reactions just like whether it's playing golf or playing pickleball or things like that and just the way that my body moves i didn't i didn't feel like i was in as much pain it was amazing i was surprised how much it was affecting the whole way my body was feeling yeah. and so i was unintentionally putting my body through so much stress which in return was then hurting me because i couldn't really breathe and that breathing was putting me into fight or flight and then i was overthinking things and then i wasn't able to just relax and use the techniques that I know how to use to the fullest extent. So just that simple little thing can make all the difference. And, and that's one example of probably thousands of different things that are happening to so many people right now in this world. That if we just make one simple awareness check and we say, okay, this is what's kind of causing this ripple effect, then I can stop worrying about all of the symptoms and really get back to the actual source issue. And it can make all the, it could just completely change your life.